what is going on guys it is chris and let's start this video off with a little riddle what would you do if your son was at home crying all alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry now if your response was i would sleep with a man for a little bit of money then you would be correct however we don't have to do this today the only thing that we are going to be doing is going through how to install kingdom hearts 3 and subsequently all the other kingdom hearts games on your steam deck and get them running now i wanted to do kingdom hearts 3 because i made i recently not recently but it was a couple of months ago i made a video on how i was able to get kingdom hearts 3 running on the steam deck and i thought that as a test to see how concise my directions were i would be referencing that video for this as i have recently reinstalled uh, I recently factory reset my uh, my Steam Deck. I almost called it a Switch, but I factory reset my Steam Deck, and so I need to have everything reinstalled. So, the first thing that we're going to do is just show you guys. I have Heroic Games, and I actually have Kingdom Hearts 3 already installed. So I have Kingdom Hearts 3. And we're just going to go ahead and press play now. This is going to be what happens for most of everyone that tries to run Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, so what's going to happen is it's going to boot. It's going to go through the copyright screen and everything like that. But it's going to hang on the black screen at the end of it all. Alright, so as you can see, we are stuck on the black screen. We don't get anything to continue on um so we're just gonna exit the game from here and we're just gonna try installing all the things that we need to get this running so the prerequisites that i'm going to say that you're going to need for this uh, the first thing that you're going to need is a thing called proton up qt um, if you've don't already have this you're going to get this from the discover uh, you're going to get this from discover you're just going to search in here proton up qt as you can see oh well, these are not those but you're going to get proton up qt we are going to be trying this with the g proton 7 uh, dash 20 and if you don't know how to install it you're just going to go down here to add version and then it's going to pop up the compatibility tools. We're going to use GE Proton. And then in this case, we're going to just use GE Proton 7-20. In my previous video, I used 7-17, but from the looks of it, it should work with 7-20 as well. So once you have that installed, you're going to go back into your heroic games. You have Kingdom Hearts 3, where you have Kingdom Hearts 3. Go into settings and select your wine version as Proton GE 7 20. If you do not see this, I recommend closing out of Four Week Games and then opening it back up. I also have these two checked enable E and F sync. Um, and that's how that's the prerequisites. The other thing that you're going to want to have if you were like me and you want to run this off of your SD card. So the other thing that we're going to look for is flat sealed. You're going to install that from the discover the same way that you would do for Procon up QT. You're going to go down to heroic games launcher and then down, you're going to scroll down to file systems. Um, this one's optional. You can select all user files. I just do that as a prerequisite. I don't know if that's actually needed, but what you're going to want is you're going to want to add this. You're going to click at the top where it says where there's like a plus sign in a folder, and then you're going to add this slash run slash media. That's going to allow you, that's going to allow the heroic games launcher to be able to read and write to the SD card. And then in this case, just to show where that looks up. If you want to be able to see it, it's going to, you're going to check your other locations. If you, if you miss what I did, um, in this case, I, for the wine prefix folder where it says the folder, 
I'm going to go to other locations, computer, and then the front folder that says run, and then the folder that says media, and then you should have this uh, popped up as long as your SD card is showing up on your Steam Deck. And then you have access to your folder. So that is how, that is if you want to have it installed to your SD card. If you're going through the install process, you would just select that as your uh, install location. Okay, so the thing that we're going to need to be able to get Kingdom Hearts 3 running is MF install. So I have this linked in the description. You are, once you open that up, you're going to go up here where it says code. You're going to download the zip. I already have it downloaded. So we're going to go into the folder. You're going to extract the MF install master. Again, I already have this extracted. And then you're going to go in here where it's, you're just going to right click on a blank space in the folder. Um, and then you're going to click on open terminal. You can also, you can also just press shift F4 once you're in that folder. So now let's build the script that we're going to put into that uh, bash console that we just opened. Okay, so now what I've gone ahead and done is I've opened up Kwrite. Uh, if you don't know how to get to this, you're gonna go to your Steam logo, go into utilities and open up Kwrite from there. I've put in the script that we're gonna be using for the MF install. So this here is going to have the brackets where it says your kh 3 wine prefix folder and location. All you're gonna do here is you're gonna go back into Heroic Games Launcher, into your Kingdom Hearts 3 settings. If you're in this screen, you're gonna click on this cog wheel where it says wine prefix folder. You're going to just highlight that entire line, gonna control C and then go back into Kwrite highlight the entire bracket area and then just paste so now this is going to be our this is going to be our prefix folder location so this is going to be the g proton 7-20 and then there's the rest of the script so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and copy this entire script we're going to go back into the mf install uh, console that we had opened up previously. We're just going to go up here and paste. So now if you just notice the cut, it's because I misspelled the word uh, install at the end here. So this is going to be the correct script in the description. So we're going to take this remade script that we did. We're going to copy. We're going to go in to our MF install master. We're going to paste where this is going to be the console that we just opened up previously. And then we are going to run, hit enter. And from the looks of it, it looks like everything is good to go. So now let's close this. Now go back to the game. And we're going to try booting it. All right, there you go. As you can see, everything boots up. This is, if you see this screen, that is the sign that you were able to, that you successfully used the MF install. So we're just gonna go ahead and click through all of this. And there you have it. Team Hearts 3 is running. Let's close out of this. So the other thing that I wanted to just make a quick note of is the other game that this works on is Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. This only works, however, using the when you're trying if you're trying to play 0.2. So if you're using Dream Drop Distance, you're going to use a completely different method. Um, but we're going to just quickly go over the same thing with 2.8 so we're going to go ahead install i'm going to import the game now this is going to require some different setup so for 2.8 you're going to go in here 
F proton GE 7 20. Uh, set that up. We're going to go down to other. So to force this to run only Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2, what you're going to want to do is go to wherever your game is located. You're going to go to that game directory. You're going to go into Kingdom Hearts. You're going to go into the Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep folder. You're going to go into binaries, Win64. And then you're going to go to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep.exe. You're going to copy location. After you right click on that, you're going to right click on the exe and you're going to copy location. And then you're going to control V into the directory. And then that's going to be your alternative exe to run. So we're going to go through that same process that we did with uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 with 2.8. Yep, uh, so now we got the black screen. So now we're going to Alt F4, close that out. And then we are going to do the same thing that we did for Kingdom Hearts 3. We're going to take our wine prefix folder into the game settings. So we're going to copy this. We're going to modify that script. And then we are going to copy the script. We're going to go back to our MF install. Right click on this empty space, open terminal, or just hit sh or do shift F4, MF install master. We are going to paste the script and run. There you go. So now let's close this out, go back into. Game Parts 2.8. And this is the one quirk of the other versions of Kingdom Hearts. They need, they are going to need to directly call the exe that you want to run. So you can't just hot swap between the games, which is unfortunate. And there you go. There we go, everything's working. I have mods installed already in the game, so if you're wondering why Aqua looks like that, that is why. So, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 and Kingdom Hearts 3 running using MF install. If you're curious, okay, so I'm just now coming back to this because I was able to get Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory also running using the uh, using the MF install method that we had. Now, I want to make a note is that this game does run without the MF install, but what the MF install does is it fixes the, uh, the animated videos uh, or the pre-rendered, basically all of the pre-rendered cutscenes are fixed that are played as videos. Um, before they would play as like very distorted, a very distorted uh, way. So I just basically did the same method that I did for Kingdom Hearts 3, for uh, 0 0.2, for this. Uh, so basically you're just going to change the prefixes the same way. You're going to change the prefixes as I showed. Um, and then just to show a melody of memory, this is just as a proof to show that everything works and it looks the way that it's supposed to, um, which I honestly didn't think was possible because I tried it before, or I don't, I don't know if I tried it before, but yeah, as you can see, this is melody of memory and it l basically looks the way it's supposed to. Uh, if you're wondering, I do have this muted because uh, DMCA and copyright, so I'm not even going to try and risk it, but yeah. Melody of Memory works on here exactly as it should.
and in this case the wine prefix folder for Kingdom Hearts Melody Memory is just going to be right up here and that's what you're going to put in the the MF install so so in total that is Kingdom Hearts 3 Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts Melody Memory all working on Steam Deck using uh, Proton GE and using the MF installer method so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, uh, comment down below if this was helpful for you or if you have any questions still. I hope that this video really clears up any confusion that you might have. In a previous video, um, I may do a separate video just to go about the Heroic Bash launcher just to show that again. Um, but for now, this video is just going to be for Kingdom Hearts Three melody of memory and 0 0.2 uh, I might make a video for the other Kingdom Hearts games uh, but there are videos out there made by others so I'm not sure if I want to do that but if you all ask in the comments that you want to see a video from me on those other games then I will consider making that so let me know in the comments below but as always guys this is Chris and I'll see you later